stars according to the Irish Mirror. Kate Middleton's strict rule means we won't see new school snaps of George, Charlotte, and Louis. Following their fun-filled summer holidays, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis are expected to have headed back to Lambrook School, not eaten for George, but it appears unlikely their parents, the Prince and Princess of Wales, will share any new pictures of them to mark the day. Wow. We're told it was a big day for the kids on Wednesday. That's because they were headed back to school following their long summer holiday. The royal trio were set to head back to class at Lambrook School for the start of the new school year after no doubt spending the summer taking part in a range of fun activities with their parents, Prince William and Princess Kate, as well as heading to Balmoral for the royal's annual summer break. In previous years, the couple has treated royal fans to adorable pictures of their children on the first day of the new school year. In 2022, heartwarming photos showed the children accompanied by their parents headed into Lambert with George and Louis smart in their shirts and shorts while Charlotte sported a gingham summer dress. And many hoped there would be brand new snaps of the children now they've headed back to class for the new school year. However, so far, no pictures have been forthcoming and are unlikely to be released, and it seems there is a reason why this has been the case. It's because William and Kate only tend to share school snaps on milestone moments, such as when it is one of the children's first days at a new school. The last back-to-school snaps were shared in 2022 as it was Louis's first day at school, as well as all three kids' first days at Lambrook. The Wales children started at Lambrook two years ago following the family's move to Adelaide Cottage in Windsor after quitting their London base of Kensington Palace. Before attending Lambrook, George 11 and Charlotte 9 had both been at Thomas's school in Battersea with six-year-old Louis at Wilcox Nursery School in South Kensington. Their current school of Lambrook is a day and boarding school for boys and girls aged from 3 to 13 years. The Wales children are day pupils for now. It is a co-educational prep school for 615 boys and girls aged 3 to 13 set in 52 acres of countryside, which is just around the corner from Adelaide Cottage. The school has its very own orchard, complete with bees, chickens, and even pigs. There is also woodland for the little ones to explore, a nine-hole golf course, and a 25-meter swimming pool in addition to a cricket pitch, squash courts, and a dance studio. Lambrook, which dates back to 1860, that's when slavery had ended in the States, has a royal connection as in 1878, two of Queen Victoria's grandsons, Prince Christian Victor and Prince Albert, in a can, no, of Schleswig Holstein, Germans, were pupils there. Queen Victoria used to travel from Windsor Castle to Lambrook to watch her grandsons in plays and cricket matches. Things will be a little different for all three children at Lambrook this year. Louis will be entering year two, and Charlotte will be going into year five, while George will be going into year seven. However, in a few short years, George will leave Lambrook as it only caters for pupils up until the age of 13. Last year, it was revealed that George was taking school exams with Kate, not accompanying husband Prince William to the 2023 Earthshot Prize in Singapore in order to support her eldest son. Kensington Palace refused to comment on what exams future King George X was taking. However, the preliminary entrance exams for Eton College known as ISEBs, did occur at the same time as the Earthshot Prize during the first week of November. Several other elite private schools also used the exams. Last summer, George was spotted visiting Eton. His dad and his Uncle Harry's 
former school where fees cost over 50,000 pounds a year. Kate was seen talking to two employees of the famous and historic and troubled school while wearing an elegant aquamarine dress and ballet pumps. Hello reports. William was the first senior royal to go to Eton and was followed by brother Prince Harry, who was also educated there between 1998 and 2003. It is one of just a few public schools to have remained boys only alongside Harrow and Radley and has educated the likes of George Orwell and Eddie Redmayne. It also counts 20 British prime ministers among its alumni, including Boris Johnson of the hair and David Cameron of the very square jaw. Well, very interesting that we were given this long-winded excuse of why we are not getting real 2024 candid or posed photos of the whale's children. We have been emotionally exhausted looking for authentic, undoctored images of Kate Middleton. And now there have been some questions and controversies about the whereabouts of the children, the safety of the children and their mom. And this idea that they're going back to school is certainly reassuring. But why? Would there not be just casual snaps, right? We see this video of Kate and William walking the kids into school. We hear all these claims that Kate Middleton and Prince William are doing the school run, dropping kids off. Nobody has a cell phone. No long lens paparazzo gets any images of even a motorcade. And staff, one of the 96 staff dropping off or picking up, right? Last Wednesday gives us at least three days of school, but yet we're getting recycled photos from Nerf War two years ago. We're getting recycled video with this article of two years ago. What a guan. We know that Kate Middleton was upset over the idea that George would go to Eton College for the equivalent of high school or junior high school and high school if he had started now as opposed to later. Some people have suggested it's because Kate Middleton knows that her ability to stay married and stay a custodial parent of those children is dependent on them staying out of boarding school. If one or all three of the kids went to boarding school, then what would be the reason to keep Kate, her full staff, and empty calendar in terms of work going? Some people have suggested that the, quote, family's move to four-bedroom tiny cottage, Adelaide Cottage, was because there was a separation in that. William stayed at Kensington Palace Apartment 1 and is able to helicopter to Adelaide or Anmer Hall or certainly to the RAF base down in Norfolk to jet away to get the very delicious and dark tan that we see William sporting right now, right? Is there no tan for Kate? Where's Kate been? Where have the children been? Were they in fact in Scotland at all? Because you can't get tan like that in Scotland. I'm sorry. Unless you have a tanning bed, unless you've got those mitts and you're piling it on. But William's tan didn't look like it came from a bottle. We are getting very little information and still no real pictures or images. And now we have this long, fluffy article in the Irish Mirror, right? Part of the British Commonwealth, but not Britain itself, they have raised some very interesting issues about what school or the other that the kids went to. And certainly the kids moved to Lambrook School happened at the same time as the move to Adelaide Cottage. Again, who all moved to Adelaide Cottage? I would suggest to you it was just Kate and the kids. And again, like we know from, you know, divorces and custody battles in the U.S., right? 
the wife likes to hang on to full custody so that all of that household keeping money and staff keeping money keep flowing through her household and that there's the excuse of no I've got to take care of the kids I can't possibly work right whether that's a real world job like a a Sophie or a Zara right endorsing CBD or trying to have some some sort of sham PR firm was it production company I'm not sure certainly didn't seem to go anywhere but if the kids were put in boarding school and certainly if the heir to the throne goes to boarding school then the whole house of cards falls apart was there an interest in having a fourth child in order to extend the maternal excuse for not working and for not fulfilling public duties who can say Certainly, we see other members of the royal family, particularly Princess Meghan Markle, having no trouble balancing public duties with the private and unphotographed raising of her own children. But please let me know what you think, stars.